Hey guys, how's it going? Ice Star here and welcome back to another video of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now for this video as a short recap, we have just escaped and went to Sector 8 and now we are in the train to heading back to Sector 7 where we are gonna head back and try to get our money back. So let's not delay and get right into it, shall we? Now Barrett and Jesse and the team has already went off up into the train but I'm not so sure. and um, went off and went on their way. I just want to get home. I know. A lot of people will want to get home at this time. Wow, and there's some good people right in the break. Sorry. Hey, got a sec? My daughter now lives in Sector A. You're uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector Eight. I'm a soldier. Wow. My hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to, or maybe not. My daughter now lives in Sector Eight, so. I'm pretty sure that's not something you could get used to. I mean, like, it's just a bombing. Little help, Cloud, please. Don't be stupid. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about it. The bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. Oh, Jesse. You don't have to blame yourself for that. It's not your fault, technically. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Mm. Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, <gasps> quit talking <gasps> out your ass. <gasps> Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just... Just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. <laughs> law-abiding? Really? Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear, y'all's masters. <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Them spiting words. <laughs> it's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? <laughs> we should go. Right. <laughs> well then, that was quite an encounter. It's <laughs> still interesting to hear though. Man, this train is slower than molasses, am I right? You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. Oh, come on, Barrett. I'm sure they don't mean any harm. <sighs> Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... <clears throat> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar. 
complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <coughs> Don't worry, our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Like this train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. So true, Cloud. One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Now get some r, r You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Okay, Baron. Also, pardon me for not speaking as not as loud as I'm recording this in the middle of the night. So most, almost everyone is sleeping. Anyway, let's just go and uh, find Tifa. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> what the? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako junkie, huh? Figures. You again. Hello. I can't believe you guys came back. Have you guys been following Cloud this whole time? That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? <laughs> You're such a kidder. Oh, Jesse.
still. This place is really beautiful. What the? <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Aw, so sweet, Cloud. You give flowers to Tifa. Everyone on That's cool. Talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Okay. Uh. Hey! What uh, the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. Well, outside it is. The people who died all returned to the planet? Of course. Huh? Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It, it was, was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Not good at all. You said it, Cloud. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. Yeah, no kidding. We don't really communicate that well, Cloud. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. Said, they so, it, burning. it wasn't I that bad? It was. Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Thanks, Tifa. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Aw, that's kind of sad. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. 
And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Okay. Let's go to our room. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No. Two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Well, hey, at least Cloud is a pretty good negotiator. It's time for introductions. Uh -huh. That's kind of creepy. Well, Cloud will have to do his introductions then. Not like he can avoid it, really. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. <laughs> Cloud, you got your sword stuck there. Cloud, stop! Get back inside! Get off me! But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. <sighs> oh, that was pretty crazy. Admittingly enough. Well, that was quite a night, but we'll have to find Tifa and start our air or water filters mission. Yeah, get our money back. Well, now you must be Cloud. <clears throat> I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. I get you. 
kind of have to hurry to get over there. My husband is Oh no, I kind of almost missed it. Oops. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Well, that's quite a sales pitch, Tifa. Hey, at least you could visit Cloud. But while I'm at it, I'm gonna get the song. Tifa's theme. Perfect. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry, we'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. As long as I get it all today. Sounds good. You a lover? You a fighter? No way! Hey, we got anything. Here to change out your water you filter. Could possibly be looking for. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to. Wait, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? Clown, that was a little mean. How dare you say that to that guy? He was just trying to be nice. Anyway, uh... I think I'm gonna get lightning material. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna get ice materials right now. But I'm gonna stock up on some pots. And get this music. I like how this game gives you the music. It's kind of nice to give like those who play the original game like a flashback sort of thing. Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teep is with you. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. Uh, I have a feeling that store owner guy is into Tifa. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Clow will certainly try. Just imagine if rich people start thinking it's safer down here than on the- Apparently it was done by a terrorist group called Avalanche. <laughs> Nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa, my dear, dear girl. Oh. What's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit. Big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. 
Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest to cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Nice. Rest spots now are unlocked. Also, the fact that Klaus trying to uh, be nice is kind of hilarious. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You been Watch here a while now? Five years, give game. or take. How? Ain't they short but never mind that. Absolutely. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapons store. Hey, if it isn't Tifa. You here for the filter? Huh? Hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barrett be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor? Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the neighborhood watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. Well, time for our first no side way mission. To keep you and your family safe, and with a weapon of your own, come and check out our selection. Huh? Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the neighborhood watch? That depends. What does this neighborhood watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in Gil, but we'll work something out. For example... Aha! What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. Okay, so I'm going to just skip the tutorial again and just do it. <laughs> Time to upgrade my weapons. Uh, I'm going to definitely upgrade Punisher mode because I use it quite a lot. What else can I upgrade? Maybe my magic. Power. Yeah, magic power for sure. All right, I'm good. All set. Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge. There isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. 
Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? We don't. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. Oh, Cloud, you're so cute when you're doing that. All right, let's go and deal with these um, creatures down the scrap boulevard. You gotta do something about the monsters on scrap boulevard. The scrap boulevard is out west. Past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare just in case. All right, scrap boulevard it is. Searching for candidates. That who wedge meant? That sword's What does it say? Good luck, Tifa, and be careful. Here's scrap boulevard. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. Yeah, no kidding. All right, let's go. And there's our Gorgeous. first challenger. Show me what you got, Cloud. <laughs> see ya. That's that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow. So that's what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm-up. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's keep at it. Yeah, totally. Let's keep at it. All right. Weird. Yeah. See ya. For weird, right? Need nice. Destroyed. Comes in the one. Here it comes. I totally didn't mean to use that there, but that's workable too, I guess. You're good at this. Charging in like it was nothing. You too. It's a little surprising. Well, I've been here five years now. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. By the way, that one's gonna be on the test. This a lesson? Gotta learn if you're gonna stick around. Okay, let's wrap this up. <laughs> the way you put it that way, Tifa, it sounds a little intimidating. Time nice. All right, I think that might be the last of them. They won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so. Folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. I get you. Let's go. Doesn't look like a bird. You know, this game, I really like how the music is played and how much it so smoothly transitioned from one music to another one. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. You hear someone got rid of all Boulevard? No, that was supposed to be me. Back already? Got every last one too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines! Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've got to ask, though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you got to do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, you okay? I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village. It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? 
That sounds great. I'll come too. Oh, uh, no, you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Uh, Sorry, Go on. maybe uh. next time. Her? No fair. Uh. Think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. Uh. <sighs> hey, before we get back to it, why don't you check out the weapons? No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat you better. I don't know about that. Okay, that scene with Wedge was so cute. <laughs> but unfortunately, that's all the time I have for this episode right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support you have given me by subscribing to my channel and liking and commenting on my videos. If you like my video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you're new here as well. If you have any suggestions on what games you want me to play next or if you want to, if you have any feedback or any um, or any like comments you have for this video, please leave them down in the comments below. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now!